Hello, I'm Hadass Tier, and this is Marxism in a Minute. Karl Marx once famously said that he was not a Marxist, or at least we think he said that, but to be fair, it's a secondhand quote, and I'm sure it was meant as a tongue-in-cheek remark at a time when honestly not that many people were calling themselves Marxists yet. Uh, so we shouldn't read too far into it, but there is a grain of truth there at least, which is that Marx was not interested in his ideas being used as an excuse for dogmatism. Marx's economic writing can be found in three volumes of Capital and in a smattering of other places, but these works are, weren't meant to be religious scripts that could just be blindly applied to today's conditions. Obviously, the specifics of today's economy from the complicated financial uh, cocktails that helped to trigger the Great Recession 10 years ago or the zoonotic disease that helped to trigger this one these things couldn't have been foreseen by Marx, who was writing 150 years ago. So Marxism isn't a blueprint, it's an analytical tool. And Marx's approach to economics was to delve beneath the surface of the seemingly common sense, uh, natural state of economic affairs, where we're all you know, buying and selling goods on the marketplace, uh, selling our labor for a wage, um, that underneath this uh, surface level of appearance, we have to delve in there to reveal the underlying economic laws of motion of the system. And at the heart of capitalism, hidden behind a facade of equity, is a social relationship of exploitation. And that's where Marxist economics begins. So leave your questions and comments in the comments, and I will see you at the next Marxism in a Minute. Mm -hmm.